guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amomi, aka Petite Diva, and on this channel, we do all things hair, a little bit of scholarship, and a little bit of anything I decide because hey, that's me. In today's video, we are going to be doing a product review, and it's from a brand you've already seen on my channel. It is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Heat Activated Mask. It has Moroccan clay and shea butter, and it is said to be for natural cause and cause. So if you want to see how I was able to use this and my thoughts concerning this product, please keep on watching. So I am using this. It is the Moisture Miracle Moroccan clay and shea butter um, heat activated mask. <sighs> This man is okay. Oh god. It looks like it has sleep. Yeah, it looks like it has sleep. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to use this after a after washing my hair. Okay, then, yeah, it's after washing my hair. Direction section clean wet hair apply it generously from root to end cover with a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer for up to 15 minutes or cover with a plastic cap and warm tool let's sit let's sit for up to 30 minutes i am not using a warm tool but i would cover with a plastic cap and um, let it sit off for at least 30 minutes So I'm applying this after I did a deep protein treatment. So let me see if it will restore the softness to my hair after doing a protein treatment. Mm. Mm. This doesn't work. Ah, yes. This has the same smell as the other rinse out conditioner, the honey, chocolate, and uh, coconut oil. Oh my god, I don't like it.
I applied this after I had used a deep protein treatment. I like to try a new deep conditioner to know how effective it is by using it immediately after a deep protein treatment because my hair after a deep protein treatment is usually a bit stiff. So if the protein treatment, if the deep conditioner, the moisturizing deep conditioner is able to actually restore moisture to my hair after a deep protein treatment then i know it is a good one now this is one that contains clay and shea butter one of the things i noticed that is very very thick and it's not smooth it's really not smooth i don't know if i would i will show you guys it's not smooth it has like lumps kind of thing so it was looking and i expect i think i expect that because of it has clay and shea butter so for me to make it smoother i mix i apply some to my palms and then rub it together to kind of cause friction and heat and then apply it to my hair so i apply it from the roots to the end um i noticed that it has sleep but one thing that i also did not like and i noticed was the smell it had the same fragrance as that honey chocolate conditioner if you've not watched my review about the moisture miracle um honey coconut oil and chocolate um, conditioner and the shampoo and then please check it out if you've watched it you know i complained a lot about the fragrance it's the same fragrance they used in this one but it was a bit toned down it was not as it was not as intense as that one but it's still the same fragrance and i was just afraid i was going to get a headache which i didn't get i applied it after i had um, used a deep protein treatment and it actually made my hair feel soft but I'm not too entirely sure that it did it the way like my mega growth and other deep conditioners that I've used um, would do that I actually that I've used and loved did um, because I didn't allow it to completely dry. I didn't allow my hair to completely dry after rinsing it off because I was um, I had other things to do so I had to get over with it so but i noticed that my hair felt soft but i don't know how it feels after it has completely dried so i cannot categorically say that it is super super great um because i really don't know i really don't know how my hair felt after it had dried up because that's the way that's one of the ways that i used to judge a moisturizing deep conditioner but it felt it had sleep if you, you notice the way my hair was bouncing and it was bouncing the cars were coming up i was looking like oh my god but it had sleep it made my hair feel soft after i rinsed it off it was still soft i feel like the way my hair felt after a deep protein treatment so i can maybe i'll give it seven seven over ten would i recommend this I don't really know because I got it for around three thousand five hundred. I actually got it on sale, so it was around two five three thousand. Um, but for a how many kg is this? How many gram is this? Um, it's a three forty gram jar. I don't know if it, I will call it affordable, but the fact that it contains Moroccan clay, which is not so cheap in Nigeria. If I look at the ingredient and look at the cost i would say it can it might be affordable if, if you want luxury if you want your hair to be on point if you want to detoxify and soften your hair it is actually affordable but if you just want a moisturizing deep conditioner i think you can find something else that is cheaper but if you want luxury for your hair then this should do it this is actually okay i, I actually liked it I actually liked it but I still need to check out how my hair will feel when it is at least 90% dry after rinsing it off with water but all in all it's not a bad product it's really not a bad product at least it's better than that conditioner in my dreams I really don't like that conditioner I think I really don't like that conditioner 
like I had been ranting about it for weeks <laughs> because I'm just like, oh my God, 3,500. What? Uh, okay, I got it at 2,500. So, still. Any which way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos such as this where I review products, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you do it anytime I upload videos such as this. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.